Yahudith, Judith, 13. Now, when the evening was come, his servants made haste to depart, and Bagaos shut his tent without, and dismissed the waiters from the presence of his lord. And they went to their beds, for they were all weary, because the feast had been long. And Yahudith was left alone in the tent, and Holofernes lying alone upon his bed, for he was filled with wine. Now Yahudith had commanded her maid to stand without her bedchamber, and to wait for her coming forth, as she did daily. For she said she would go forth to her prayers, and she spoke to Bagaos according to the same purpose. So all went forth, and none was left in the bedchamber, neither little nor great. Then Yahudith, standing by his bed, said in her heart, O Yahuwah Elohim of all power, look at this present upon the works of my hands for the exaltation of Yerushalayim. For now is the time to help your inheritance and to execute your enterprises to the, destru to the destruction of the enemies which are risen against us. Then she came to the pillar of the bed, which was at Holofernes's head, and took down his falchion from thence, and approached to his bed, and took hold of the hair of his head, and said, Strengthen me, O Yahweh Elohim of Yashadael, this day. And she smote him twice upon his neck with all her might, and she took away his head from him and tumbled his body down from the bed and pulled down the canopy from the pillars and immediately after she went forth and gave Holofernes his head to her maid and she put it in her bag of meat so they two went together according to their custom unto prayer and when they passed the camp they compassed the valley and went up the mountain of Beit Uliah and came to the gates thereof. Then said Yahudith afar off to the watchman at the gate, Open, open now the gate. Elohim, even our Elohim, is with us to show his power yet in Yerushalayim and his forces against the enemy, as he has even done this day. Now when the men of her city heard her voice, they made haste to go down to the gate of their city, and they called the elders of the city. And they ran, rather, and then they ran altogether, both small and great, for it was strange unto them that she was come. So they opened the gate and received them, and made a fire for a light, and stood round about, the, round about them. Then she said to them with a loud voice, Praise, praise Elohim, praise Elohim, I say, for he has not taken away his mercy from the house of Yashadael, but has destroyed our enemies by my hands this night. So she took the head out of the bag and showed it and said unto them, Behold, the head of Holofernes, the chief captain of the army of Ashur, and behold the canopy wherein he did lie in his drunkenness, and Yahweh has smitten him by the hand of a woman. As Yahweh lives, who has kept me in my way that I went, my countenance has deceived him to his destruction, and yet has he not committed sin with me to defile and shame me. Then all the people were wonderfully astonished and bowed themselves and worshipped Elohim and said with one accord, Blessed be you, O our Elohim, which has this day brought to naught the enemies of your people, then said Uziyahu unto her, O daughter, blessed are you of El Elyan, above all the women upon the earth, and blessed be Yahweh Elohim, which has created the heavens and the earth, which has directed you to the cutting off of the head of the chief of our enemies. For this your confidence shall not depart from the heart of men, which remember the power of Elohim forever. And Elohim turn these things to you for a perpetual praise, 
to visit you in good things because you have not spared your life for the affliction of our nation, but have revenged our ruin, walking a straight way before our Elohim. And all the people said, So be it, so be it.